Welcome to Business Leaders on the Social Television Network. I'm your host, Dustin Ruge, and today we're joined by author, speaker, trainer, and strategic storytelling expert, Doug Stevenson. Doug, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks. Uh, let me ask you a quick question on, um, on the speaking side. This, so using sto the storytelling method, how can people use that to get more paid speaking engagements if that's what they want to do and be more effective at public speaking? Well, in order to get paid speaking engagements, you've got to have a product. Mm -hmm. Your stories are products, your speech is a product. You've got to have something to market and sell. So you have to be able to tell good stories because stories are what people buy. They literally what people buy. When I began my speaking business, I had a story that was a Hollywood story about going streaking and getting arrested naked. Well, I, this, this was, a, a, it, I mean, you laugh because it's like, Oh, tell me more. That sounds interesting. Well, I had crafted that story into something just amazing. It was a powerful piece of story. It was a little piece of theater. And I would market it and sell it and go out and give speeches. And everybody go, oh, that streaking story is fabulous. That's amazing. Well, one day I got a call from a speaker's bureau I had been trying to get to, you know, represent me for years. And finally she said, you know, that streaking story, that is gold. I can sell that. And that's when I realized she's talking about my story as if it's a product that she can sell. Mm -hmm. And that's when the, the penny dropped for me. It's like, oh, so if speakers have really amazing stories, that sets them apart in the marketplace. Because nobody's got your stories, Dustin. They're right. yours. They're from your life. They're your experience. They're your personality. They're your style. They're your life experience. They're your heart and soul and emotion. So a story well-crafted is a marketing piece. Mm -hmm. It's a product and you can market and sell it. I get hired because of my pill in the peanut butter story. People see that <laughs> and I say, so you were on my website? Yeah. <clears throat> what did you see on my website that caused you to pick up the phone? Oh, that thing about your dog and the pill? That, 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 that's our problem. That nailed it right on the head. We've got too much pill, not enough peanut butter. Yeah. That works. Yeah. So it gets me hired to give speeches and presentations and training classes. It gets me coaching clients because people realize that story is a metaphor for the pain that they're experiencing. If you've got those kinds of stories, very strategically chosen, crafted, and developed, you can get hired. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. So you're also a trainer as well, right? Mm -hmm. You teach people on how to do these methodologies. Mm -hmm. um, first off, who benefits, who do you see the most coming into your training sessions for these? Meaning what types of business people, what industries are they from, things of that nature? Well, uh, Microsoft wanted me to come and work with their uh, sales directors, their regional sales directors, to help them motivate their sales forces. Okay. So in that case, it was leaders in sales. Now, when I went out to SAP, which is a software firm, sure. I had a room full of IT professionals. Well, they're all left-brainers. They're all engineers. They're very techie brains. They don't know how to speak the language of the customer. They know how to speak the language of the technology. Mm -hmm. So they said, could you help us translate how we present the technology? Now, then I went out to um, ConAgra Foods out in Omaha, Nebraska. They said, we need you to help our high potential future leaders get better at motivating and inspiring and influencing. So depending on where it is and what I'm doing, it's leaders in one organization who need to inspire and influence and persuade. It's salespeople in another environment that need to sell their product and service, direct B2B customers, you know, sale, mm -hmm. uh, pharmaceutical, high tech, whatever. And so it's all these, uh, one pharmaceutical company I worked with wanted me to work with their marketing teams for internal marketing presentations because they're competing internally for funds and staffing. <laughs> All right. Sure. And so they said, we got six different teams competing for funds and staffing internally. Can you help them make better presentations to the board wow. internally? Wow. So everywhere I go, they say, could you help this group, this cohort, this team do this? And so basically the methodology moves around depending on what the use is. Sure. But a drill is a drill. A hammer is a hammer. A story is a strategic communication tool, and it can be used for many different things. Yep. I, just, I just angle it and customize it and tweak it to that organization, that need. And along those needs, um, are there specific story types that you recommend for people when you're working with them in these workshops and training? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Now, when it's a leader, I want the leaders to be able to find the stories from their life. Mm -hmm that are the parables, that are the stories, that are the wisdom that they need to share to, to help their employees understand why are we doing this change? 
why are we moving headquarters? Why are we changing software systems? Why are we doing so? Stories are great for the why, mm -hmm. for leaders. Why are we doing this and what is this all about? Now, salespeople, I, I call my sales presentation, my sales technology, Aikido selling, because it's a martial art. Aikido is a martial art where you use the energy, the momentum of your competitor to neutralize and defeat them. So in a sales conversation, I teach people how to use a story that overcomes an objection, that neutralizes an objection that is meant to say, no, I don't want you, your price is too high, I'm already comfortable with the people I've got, we don't have a budget, this is going to take too much bandwidth. Mm -hmm. I know what all the objections are, I go out there and I help them to understand in a sales situation, how do you listen for that objection or that question and overcome it with a story rather than facts, features, benefits, and data? Because facts, features, benefits, and data, everybody has. Sure. That's not a differentiating factor. It's all about influence and persuasion mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yep. It's, it's, it's really not about teaching storytelling. It's about teaching how to be more influential and persuasive right. and to get the result you want. Story is the tool. Story has an effect on the brain. When you tell a story, it triggers imagery and emotion. Well, that's what we remember. When, you, when, when your brain detects an emotionally charged event, the amygdala releases dopamine into your system, and the dopamine helps you to remember the story. There's a chemical effect that right. happens during storytelling. So in my training, people go through the whole process, intellectual, cerebral, emotional, and then they're on their feet telling stories. By the end of the day, everybody's rocking and rolling. It's like, wow, transformation. Right. Now, is that training, is that a, usually a one-day process, or what do you typically see when you, when you conduct these sessions? With uh, some organizations say, just come in for two or three hours. To okay. a half day. Uh, more often than not, people say, you know, can you can you do a whole day with our with our team, whatever cohort or team they want to work with. Uh, but some organizations really get into it and say, no, we want this to be a year long process. We want you to come in and do a day to get it set. Then we want you to create coaching cohorts, you know, virtual cohorts and different things online, and then come back and do another round and come back and do another round and work through all of our teams and all of our divisions all over the country or all over the world. And so it depends on the organization how seriously they want to take it, how deep they want to go. Storytelling isn't something that you learn how to do it and master it in one day. So it's, it's all these different forms. I do keynotes. I do half days, I do full days, I do multi-days, I do year-long contracts, Okay. all kinds of things. It's just a blast And you because it's my bliss. It's and you just, also professionally speak, correct? And I, Yeah, I, well, I, I speak on storytelling. So when okay. I'm doing a <laughs> keynote, my keynote is on the power to persuade the magic of a story. It's a, it's a storytelling keynote. So I'm telling stories, I'm analyzing stories. Uh, quite often when I do it, people walk away going, that was a value-added keynote. That was information. That was entertainment. That was education. That was, that, that's what we needed. We needed somebody to plant the seed of storytelling, but not just be up there and telling. I used to tell stories and just be an amazing storyteller. I was a motivational speaker. I just told stories. And they were funny stories, and they were great stories, and people learned life lessons, but it was inspiring, motivational entertainment. Sure. And then I started teaching storytelling. It's like, okay, it shifted away. Now they're instructional keynotes. Okay. Good. I love to teach. Good. I Excellent. love to teach. Good. So, Doug, if somebody wants to get a hold of you to, uh, to line up you as a speaker or to have you come train their organization, what's the best way for them to be able to reach you? Well, my website is um, storytellinginbusiness.com. So, storytelling-in-business.com. Okay. Uh, because that's what people are looking for, storytelling in business, storytelling in a business context. Pretty intuitive. Uh, so, storytelling-in-business.com is the best way. Okay. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on LinkedIn. I have a storytelling for business uh, study group, discussion group on LinkedIn. And so if you type Doug Stevenson into YouTube or into LinkedIn or into Facebook, I'm, I'm all over the place. Got videos up online that you can watch and study and learn more. Excellent. And if somebody wants a copy of your book as well, they can find that where? Well, it's easily found on uh, Amazon and on Barnes & Noble. Uh, you can come to my website, but it's a, it's a lot easier to buy it on Amazon. Okay, of course. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> Doug, thank you so much for being in here today. It's thank excellent you. information. Very helpful. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for watching. If you like the show or want to watch additional episodes, please like the Social Television Network on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or subscribe on YouTube. I'm Dustin Ruge, and this is Business Leaders on the Social Television Network. Thank you.